And one of my favorite, favorite segments is coming up right now. Walking Mountains, Corinna Shore has joined me from Walking Mountains. Thank you very much for being here. Thanks for having me. The Walking Mountains Science Center. We've got so much going on we all do. the time. Mm -hmm. And first I want to talk about something that's just about to open up. When mm -hmm. we go up the gondola in Lion's Head, we're on Vail Mountain. Talk, us, talk to us about that. That's right. It's called the Nature Discovery Center. It's a yurt uh, just on top of the Eagle Bond next to all the restaurants and everything. And it, in addition to being in a museum where there's lots of exhibits about our local ecology and examples of local wildlife, we also run a couple programs out of there. We have um, daily guided snowshoe tours. So those run every day from 2 to 3 o'clock. And then uh, Tuesdays through Saturdays, we also do evening snowshoe tours, okay. and those are from 5 to 6.30. So 5 to 6.30, this yeah. time of year, you're going to see lots and lots of stars. Yeah. Later in the later in the spring, we get to see the sunset from up yeah. there. It's gorgeous. Yeah, especially being that high up. It's great views. And new this year to that program, we are requiring people to pre-register oh, for them. Okay. Uh, it was a really high demand in past couple years, so we just wanted to make sure that people got up there and didn't have to get turned away. Gotcha. Let's talk about the Discovery Center. There's so sure. many different things you can do. And my daughter and I go in there with her friends. We'll be mm -hmm. out on a ski day. And interestingly enough, it's if it's powder day, if it's bluebird day, it doesn't yeah. matter. She wants to go in and check yeah. it out. It's just so fun. Yeah, and it's a great place to, you know, if you're a little bit burnt out on the slopes uh, for lunch or whatever, and you want to just go see a different side of the mountain, it's a great place to go. Uh, all of our naturalists who staff the Nature Discovery Center are really well versed in all of the natural science education aspects of the mountain that you might not hear about just zooming down the slopes. Now let's take it back down into Avon. Mm -hmm. Not brand new, but relatively no. new campus. Yep. Tell us what goes on there. Again, I've dropped my daughter off for programming during the summertime. Tell me about the, the facility and all of that. Yeah, so Walking Mountain Science Center in Avon is uh, open right now. It's open daily, or sorry, Monday through sun, Monday through Saturday, closed, okay. closed on Sundays, okay. open 9 to 5. And we, <clears throat> the programs we're running out of there right now are our daily nature walks. And uh, so a naturalist will take you up into the nice riparian forests up behind Buck Creek. Okay. And then also on Mondays and Fridays, we do a pre-K Earth Keepers program, which is for children ages three to five, just to introduce them to the natural world and do fun it activities inside and outside. Me. Okay. And it's interesting, this time of year, normally a lot of the migration would have happened. Mm -hmm. A lot of the, we would have gone into hibernation state, which sure. the bears have actually gone into, mm -hmm. but not a lot of snow. So in these nature walks that you're doing, you're probably still seeing some of those deer and elk coming through, or at least tracks of them coming through. Yeah, I haven't personally been up on the trails recently, but we do have some trail cameras up around the areas that we do those walks on, and we're still seeing a lot of activity, so your chances of seeing some wildlife are pretty high. That's very cool, and I was just out with some folks over the weekend, and they were talking about all sorts of different tracks that they just mm -hmm. didn't really understand, yeah. and when they're all kind of mingled and mixed together, it gets even more confusing. Yeah. Adults and kids can learn that from your naturalists mm -hmm. as well and just say, okay, that one is a bobcat and that one is a, you know, maybe it's, I don't know if it's a lynx, but it could right. be. <laughs> um, fun stuff there too. Right. And just because uh, the nature walks are open to all ages, the naturalists will tailor them to the group that's there. And if they are knowledgeable, they're not going to repeat things that the group already knows. If they're novices, they're going to do something a little bit more inter introductory, especially for kids. Great. So. Thank you so much Thank for you. being here. We appreciate it very much. Again, Corinna Shore, if you want to reach out to them, you can call them at 970-827-9725, 970-827-9725, or go to walkingmountains.org. They have so much programming there. You've got to check out the website to see what you and your kiddo wants to get involved in. We're going to take it outside right now with Claire.